I'm John Arena from Metro Pizza in Las Vegas. I've been a pizza maker for 46 years. I started out as a, as a New York pizza maker uh, in my family pizzeria. I moved to Las Vegas in 1980 and opened my first store. Today we're going to talk about the basics of New York style pizza dough. And most people uh, that own pizzerias, that's their biggest challenge is how to create a dough that, uh, that, has, that has many uses, that provides a crispy crust because most Americans prefer a crispy style pizza crust. Uh, something that's easy to work with and something that's that's relatively simple to make. The dough that we make for a New York style pizza is called direct mix method, which means that the ingredients are incorporated, the dough is taken out of the mixer and, and scaled and, and rounded. The basics of pizza dough are really four ingredients, flour, water, salt, and yeast. And uh, typically in New York we also add olive oil. So flour, water, salt, olive oil, and yeast, and that's it. The flavors are gonna come from fermentation, from the length of fermentation and the development of amino acids over a two to three day period. So the, fla the classic flour for New York style pizza dough is General Mills All Trumps bromated flour. It's not available everywhere in the country, but you can get, it all, you can get General Mills All Trumps on the West Coast, unbromated, um, but it's still a very, very good flour. They're almost interchangeable. But a New York pizza maker will always look for the, for the All Trump's bromated flour. Uh, it's a high protein flour that's gonna give you a crisp crust, give you the ability to extend the dough uh, without it tearing, and it's a very versatile dough. We can use it for bread baking, we can use it to make bagels. It has a, it has a hundreds of uses. We wanna make sure that the water that we use is pure. So if the water that you in your area doesn't taste good coming out of the tap, it's not going to taste any better when you eat it. It doesn't have to be water from New York, it's just got to be good pure water that tastes good and is fresh. We're going to use sea salt or kosher salt, either one. We're not going to use iodized salt in our pizzas because we don't want iodine flavor in our pizza dough. And really all we want in our pizza dough is wheat. That's what the dough should taste like, the wheat and the flavors of the fermentation, the amino acids. We're going to add some olive oil and we're going to use uh, either fresh yeast or dry active yeast, not instant yeast. We don't want the dough to blow up quickly, we want it to take time. The flavors are going to come from over the long period of time. Even in Italy, the dough makers are going, are going to very long fermentation times, up to 96 hours. That's where the flavor comes from, not from adding other, any other ingredients. Just the basics, and if you handle them correctly, you can, you can make perfect dough every time. When we make pizza dough, we make pizza dough using baker's percentages. So every recipe is done, is done by weight, not by, not by volume, so we can get precise measurements. So in this case, our basics are, are 50 pounds of flour, 31 pounds of water, four ounces of yeast if we're using fresh yeast, two ounces of yeast if we're using dry active yeast, 16 ounces of salt, 16 ounces of olive oil. So in baker's percentages, you always, can, you always consider flour to be 100%. That's the basic formula. So if you want to make a 100-pound batch, it's 100 pounds of flour, 62 pounds of water. If you wanted to make a 1,000-pound batch, it would be 1,000 pounds of flour, 620 pounds of, of uh, water. It's always percentages of the flour. We're going to start by putting the water into the dough mixer. You want your dough to come out of the mixer at about 78 degrees. So if your ingredients are at room temperature, 72 degrees for your flour, 72 degrees for your water, and you have a friction factor because you're mixing the dough in, in the mixer and you're creating a little bit of heat, your dough will come out right at about 78. You're gonna put the water in the, mix, in the bowl, dissolve the yeast, add the salt, add the flour, mix for about, this, this flour has an absorption rate that makes it mix for about eight minutes. Uh, you're going to mix for about four minutes and then you're going to add the olive oil. Continue the mix for another four minutes. Take the dough out, put it up on the table, cover it, let it relax for 10 to 15 minutes and then you're going to divide it, round it, brush it with some olive oil, put it into the dough trays and immediately put it into the, into the cooler. And you're going to let it stay in that cooler for two to three days, minimum. Three days it'll really be at its peak. You can use it after a day or a day and a half, but it really will be at its best in terms of flavor, texture, color development, and the ability to work the dough after, after two to three days. Three days is really at its best. 
We're never going to put any sugar in the dough to accelerate the fermentation process. We're not going to use warm water to make everything happen faster. We're going to do everything as slowly as possible to let the flavors and textures develop fully. I'm John Arena and that's the simple secret of making great pizza dough.